Hey, welcome guys. My name is Frederick and today I want to tell you one story. When I was in high school, I'm a big fan of football and I play football till today. And when I was in high school, it was like I had a football match and I had to attend a, a meeting of leaders. I was a leader back then. So at the time, I was much focused on football. And my mind was keep like reminding me that, hey, man, you need to go to the meeting. And when the time reaches for a meeting, unfortunately, my brain was thinking about the match. And I didn't even consider that I have a meeting that time. So what happened, I went to the football match and we lost the match. When I come back, then I remembered, oh, I had a meeting, but I, I have no memory to remember that because my brain was thinking about a lot of things at once and there was no place for me to keep my memories. I was all the time just procrastinating about everything in my life. So this happens to everybody, especially when you're in your 20s, uh, below and above. It happens because we always think that we have plenty of time and our brain has this extra capability to handle everything without writing, you know, because you can find uh, a boy or a girl in their 20s believing much on their brain, believing much that they are going to succeed without writing. But it's, this is where now the big problem arises of procrastinating. And today in this video, I have prepared a way that you can value your energy, your effort, and you can see how you grow from one place to another because the growth that you need in your life is based under the power of you to write your ideas and to start going through and making it success. So stay with me to the end. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon because in this channel, I am going to make sure every one of you reaches their potential and beyond their expectations. So let's go. Before we dive deeply in the solution of how you can overcome procrastination, first we need to understand why do people procrastinate, especially in their 20s? Because you can understand that in your 20s is the moment of major transformation of your life. It's the moment now you start to balance your education, your career, your relationship, even growing your brand, growing your career. That's the time when everyone is stressed enough to overcome all the outside pressure and focus on that one goal. So most of the people in their 20s fall in procrastination because when you think about social media, when you think about you seeing other people in their 20s, the same age as you, rolling out in the yachts in Dubai, driving uh, fancy cars, you really get stressed because you start to compare yourself. That comparison you make yourself and others, that's the real problem. That's, that's the real uh, negative impact of social media that drives along and makes you uh, all the time procrastinating on that big dreams and without even starting, focus on it. Because the difference between you and others is that others who are really successful, they keep aside all the distraction and focus in that one goal, in that one career of their life. And through consistency, they end up successful. But many of us in our 20s, we end up procrastinating about things and not keeping it 
thing to work. And that's the big problem, which all the time is driven by the power of social media. I haven't seen social media the bad thing because I myself, I'm in social media most of the time, even half of my day I'm in social media. But how do you take from social media? What do you take from social media? Is that you take the stress, you take the comparison, or you take the message, you take the ideas of others because all of us nowadays, we are not creating something new. We are just using our intelligence, our motivation, our innovative energy to recreate what have been made by others. So the more you be yourself and the more you start seeing the world in a different place and keeping into work everything that you are planning to do can be your career, can be your education, can be your relationship. There is where you start to see changes in your life. But also another big reason of procrastination that most of time happened in my life, it is fear of losing. You know, when you're in your 20s, in the time that you fear losses, you fear uh, doing something wrong, you always chase for perfections. And it made me late to understand that I don't need to be perfect for I to be successful. And I don't need to be a super 100% uh, focus in my goal in order for I to be successful. But the more I make mistakes, and every time I make mistakes from one mistake, to the second mistake, it gives me an energy it gives me different different mindset uh, from the one i had before because let's take an example as i myself i used to love football till today i love football when i was starting i was having that fear okay what if i get injury what if i not be the i not be chosen the first team so all the things gave me like a, a downfall okay let me just stop let me just choose other things. But the moment I give myself an exercise, I give myself time to believe in myself, that's when I become the best. So even yourself right now, the moment the in any situation that you have right now, what matters is that stop fearing the losses because through the losses that you get, through the... Uh, those corrections that you get from others through those failures that you counter through your way, that's the only reason you can be the better person you need to be in the future. So the only true way that you can understand yourself is by figuring out what you need to do and start to do immediately. So that's the only way. So without further ado, now I need to tell you guys how are we going to overcome this procrastination and become the best version of ourselves? Okay, now this time is like, I need to make it clear that these ways I'm going to tell you right now is just according to my personal perspectives because I was in procrastination a lot. And I'm just saying because from myself, if I imagine, if I knew this before, my life would have changed for the better, a lot better than now. Because at that time when I was really in procrastination, I had nobody to tell me all of this. But I am sure you guys, you are very, very lucky to understand the energy of overcoming procrastination and the way to do so. So. The first thing, if you need to be among the luckiest people to overcome procrastination, is just you need to set clear and achievable goals. When I say clear, I mean you need to set specific goals, specifically what do you need in your life. At first, remember, there is no outcomes when you are keeping those goals, but you need just to believe that through this goal, I'm going to be somebody in the near future. So when I say clear goals has to be very clear. If it's, you need to be a content creator, 
you need to develop your personal brand or you need to be a web developer or you need to be a graphics designer so these are like clear goals now you need to set those goals to be achievable i myself i cannot tell myself that today i need to be a uh, uh, master of rocket science although if i put that energy i can be there but i can myself that this is not achievable because my system of life my structure this is really unachievable so for you who needs to really overcome procrastination you need to be clear and set just achievable goals it can be small it doesn't matter keep it in in a form of blocks so one block after the other or just make them in a steps the way you keep small steps one day you be at the top of the mountain so don't fear the small steps don't fear the uh the progress that you're going through is all of them part of the way to make you the better person so the second point is time management so here is where now we need to be very very clear when we talk about time management because <coughs> i'm sorry time management is something huge and you guys need to be very clear on how you set your time on how you uh manage your time because through time management is when you can be able to see those steps because you can make yourself maybe every day if you need just maybe to be uh, a 3d artist you can set yourself every day i need to be on blender and do something on blender every day early in the morning so that is how you will use for you keep your time uh very very useful because the moment you do the things you love the moment you do the things you tell yourself you're going to do and you do it you give yourself energy and motivation to go forward and the third point which everyone around us myself i've been there is you need to avoid distraction and the biggest distraction nowadays in our life it can be social media it can be netflix it can be uh uh video games anything that takes your time i had this story one of my friends used to tell me the hey man i love i really love the way you play football but i don't have time to come and do exercise then i said okay sit down what do you do at night he told me man at night i watch this new series man is very good and i can watch 3 to 4 episodes oh okay i said okay what else do you watch on netflix he told me ton of movies ton of uh, tv shows and i said man can you listen to yourself you have plenty of time it's just you don't know how you can use your time so even yourself you need to find a proper way to use your time and if you still not sure on how you're going to use your time i've prepared a time to change guide and this guide is like helping you guys from very bottom and making your progress from start to finish so as you can be a better person in the future so this time to change guide is really for everyone who needs to change your life and i'll keep the link down in the description below you can take a copy for you is just one dollar i just need to help you guys to be the best version of yourself so i i saying that i mark the end of this video by saying that the only secret of overcoming procrastination lies in yourself you need to wake up today and tell yourself i need to be the better version of myself better version and from that moment you will be able to see your life in a different way if that's difficult for you just go into a monk mode will help you has helped a lot of people and going to help you and if you really struggling i've said it before just take a copy of time to change guidebook and i am really sure that it's going to help you and if you haven't subscribed to my channel 
I'm pretty sure, guys, you need to take your time and subscribe because you will not miss any of my future videos. It's your boy, Frederick. Till next time, handle procrastination and become the better version of yourself. Thank you.